Podcaster. This is October the 26th of 2023. I can't hardly believe the month is almost over. Let me just welcome you to Coffee with Pastor. I have my hot cup of coffee right here, and I have my copy of the Word of God open to the book of Numbers in chapter 30. The book of Numbers chapter 30, and again, we are going to assume that you are opening up your copy of the Word of God, that you are going to follow along with us as we read this morning in Numbers chapter 30. As you are turning in your Bibles, let me turn your attention to the bad dad joke. Who earns a living by driving his customers away? Who earns a living by driving his customers away? A taxi driver. Okay, putting that aside, and again, good morning to you. It is going to be a wonderful, wonderful day. I have the glorious privilege of having my granddaughter up here, and my kids are up here, and so it's going to be a good day, and I hope to spend some time with them, enjoying their fellowship, enjoying the time we share together, and I hope you're going to have a wonderful day, and if everything you anticipate today to be, that it's going to be that, and indeed, more. So again, thank you for joining us for Coffee with Pastor. It is almost at nine o'clock hour, and so let's bow our heads, bow our hearts before our Heavenly Father. Good morning, Lord. We come into your presence with grateful hearts, thanking you for all of the blessings you bring into our lives each and every day. And Father, we pray that you would indeed give us eyes to see those blessings. So often as we live through this world, this life, it is so easy for us to focus on what goes wrong, what is happening that is against us. But Father, open our eyes and help us to see the many, many blessings you bring our way. Lord, as we come into your presence, we just ask again your blessing upon the reading of your word. We understand that as a people, we are tremendously blessed to even have your word in front of us. And Lord, as we read it together today, we pray that you would be honored, you would be glorified, not only in the reading of your word, but as we respond to it, as we listen, and Father, as we apply it to our day-to-day lives. Lord, use your word. Make us godly. Father, each person who joins us each and every day, Lord, we consider them a blessing. And Lord, we ask your blessing upon them. We ask for literally your very best for each one. Lord, again, you know challenges, you know the blessings, you know what we're going to face today that we have no idea. And so, Father, meet each need as it arises. And Father, again, help us to see the many blessings that come our way. Father, may we be involved in and intentionally pursuing your will in our lives. Father, that we might serve you. That our lives might count for eternal. Thank you, Father, for this time. Thank you for those who join us. And again, Father, may you be well pleased with your people. We ask this in Jesus' precious and holy name. Amen. The book of Numbers in chapter 30. And Moses spake unto the heads of the tribes concerning the children of Israel, saying, This is the thing which the Lord hath commanded. If a man vow a vow unto the Lord, or swear an oath, to bind his soul with a bond. He shall not break his word. 
he shall do according to all that proceedeth out of his mouth. If a woman also vow a vow unto the Lord, and bind herself by a bond, being in her father's house in her youth, and her father hear her vow, and her bond wherewith she hath bound her soul, and her father shall hold his peace at her, then all her vows shall stand, and every bond wherewith she hath bound her soul shall stand. But if her father disallow her in the day that he heareth, not any of her vows, or of her bonds, wherewith she hath bound her soul, shall stand. And the Lord shall forgive her, because her father disallowed her. And if she had at all an husband, when she vowed or uttered aught out of her lips, wherewith she bound her soul, and her husband hear it, and held his peace, at her in the day that he heard it, then her vow shall stand and her bonds wherewith she had bound her soul shall stand. But if her husband disallowed her on the day that he heard it, then he shall make her vow which she vowed and that which she uttered with her lips, wherewith she bound her soul, of none effect, and the Lord shall forgive her. But every vow of a widow, and of her that is divorced, wherewith they have bound their souls, shall stand against her. And if she vowed in her husband's house, or bound her soul by a bond with an oath, and her husband hear it, and held his peace at her, and disallowed her not, then all her vows shall stand, and every bond wherewith she hath bound her soul shall stand. And if her husband hath utterly made them void on the day that he heard them, then whatsoever proceeded out of her lips concerning her vows or concerning the bond of her soul shall not stand. Her husband hath made them void, and the Lord shall forgive her. Every vow and every binding oath to afflict the soul, her husband may establish it, or her husband may make it void. But if her husband altogether hold his peace at her from day to day, then he establisheth all her vows, or all her bonds which are upon her. He confirmeth them, because he held his peace at her, in the day that he heard them. But if he shall any way make them void after he hath heard them, then he shall bear her iniquity. These are the statutes which the Lord commanded Moses between a man and his wife, between the father and his daughter, being yet in her youth, in her father's house. And may God add his blessing to the reading of his word. I think it goes without saying that if we make a vow to God, if we make a promise to God, we ought to keep that which we have vowed. We're not going to hide anything from God. God knows what we have vowed. God knows what we have promised. And it is up to us to keep those things. Beloved, I trust you're going to have a super, super day today. I hope you're going to enjoy every moment of this beautiful day that is before us. And as we tell you each and every day, be faithful. Be faithful to God. Again, focus on today. Don't worry about tomorrow yet. Don't worry about next week. Focus on today. Be faithful to God today. Do his bidding today. Do his will today. Be faithful and never allow yourself to become someone else's excuse for turning away from the gospel of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Beloved, remember, God really does love you, and so do we. And until tomorrow, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen, and God bless you.